the camera's not centered either. Center? Close as it's gonna get, but that was bugging me. All right. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Kenneth Wayne, code name Kenov8, and if you're here, you're probably having issues with your MacBook Air. So I had this issue a while back where you go to power on the MacBook and nothing happens. And it's pretty heartbreaking considering that most Apple products aren't typically cheap. But after some research, I found out what does work and what doesn't for me. So you can give this a try. If it works for you, great. If not, I left some resources down in the description below. Keep in mind the fix that I'm proposing does include opening up the MacBook, which voids the warranty. But this is a 2011 MacBook Air, so it probably didn't have a warranty anyway anymore. So no problem for me. You'll start off by having the MacBook laid down somewhere in an environment where you're not going to be getting too much dust or moisture because this is going to be the inside of your MacBook Air. Go ahead and flip it and remove all 10 hex screws. From there, remove the outer casing. Once inside, you'll notice the fan to the far right, and then off to the left on the opposite side of the fan, you'll see a connector. This is the connector that connects the battery to the logic board. With two fingers to not apply too much pressure to either side of the ribbon, lift gently and pull that connector up, disconnecting the battery from the logic board. From here, you'll take your MagSafe adapter, plug that into the wall, and then plug it into your MacBook while it's on the table like this. You should see a green indicator light indicating that the adapter is getting power. Then slowly push the connector back down into the logic board, reconnecting the battery. From there, pay attention to the MagSafe adapter, which should be turning orange at this point, signifying power exchange to the battery of the MacBook. If you had the same issue I did, you should hear the traditional MacBook chime and be back in action. After you're done with this fix, I do not recommend putting all the screws back on because it's a pain to take them all back out every time. So just the corners should be fine to keep it stable. If the MacBook ever reaches 0%, you're gonna have to do this again. Keep that in mind. Probably wanna keep it tethered to a charger and adapter every now and again. But from this point on, you're gonna need easy access to the internals. There's an upside and a downside to this method. The upside is that gets your MacBook up and running and you can do this anytime, as many times as you want. The downside is that one, it voids the warranty and two, you're gonna have to do this every time you need to do this. It's not necessarily a fix as much as it is a workaround to having a power button that doesn't work on your MacBook. But if it gets you back up and running and having a computer that works again, I'm all for it. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe. Talk to you next time.